In order to have quality of service on your network and set bandwidth reservations for groups or individual users, you first need to configure bandwidth values on your WAN connections. This is done at the Network and WAN Connection page. We're going to show you where to find this information specifically for the cellular WAN as it is typically hidden. On Balance Routers, simply click on Cellular from here and then find the blue question mark icon at the top right of the WAN Connection Settings section. You will then see the Upload and Download fields here. Set them accordingly. Then click Save and Apply Changes. Let's review the same configuration on a Max BR1 router. Start by clicking on the Details button from either the Dashboard or Network WAN page. Again, refer to the WAN Connection Settings section and click the blue question mark icon. Click here to display the bandwidth values and then enter them appropriately. When done, click the Save and Apply button at the bottom of the window. Now that we've configured the bandwidth values, we can tell the router how to control the bandwidth that is made available to groups of users or individual users. This is done at the Network tab or Advanced tab for BR1 users. Then see them in the QoS section and User Groups. Two default groups will be listed here. You can click on them to edit if needed. We're going to leave them alone as we're just going to add a guest user group. Click Add to Start. This is going to be set for the entire guest VLAN we have created so all group by Submit and put in the address and Submit mask. User group will then be set to Guest. Click Save when done. We'll wait to apply changes for now. Next, click on the bandwidth control on the left. We have two options here. First is the group bandwidth reservations. This allows you to define how much minimum bandwidth will be reserved to each user group when a WAN connection is in full load. Once this feature is enabled, we see these sliders which we can move to adjust each group's bandwidth percentage. The lower part of the table shows the corresponding reserve download and upload bandwidth value of each connection. Second, we have individual bandwidth limits. We can set a maximum download speed and upload speed. This is how much each individual staff and guest user can consume. No limit can be imposed on individual manager users. I'm going to go ahead and set these pretty low and then show you how it works. I'll set one megabit per second down and 500 kilobytes per second. I'll click save and then give it a moment to apply changes. Here's our speed tests side by side before and after the bandwidth limit configuration. That's all there is to setting bandwidth values, reservations, and limits. Thank you for watching. For more helpful videos like this, please subscribe to our channel.